from the American Welding Society. Back again this week with my right hand gal, Riley. And today we're gonna to show you how to make this cute birdhouse complete with a little bird feeder. Now for today's project, we're gonna need some sheet metal. Uh, I'm using 20 gauge steel. Uh, you can do whatever you want at home if you've got 22 to probably all the way down to maybe a 12 or 14 gauge. I wouldn't go anything heavier uh, just because then it's gonna weigh a ton. Um, this did require quite a bit of cutting. So it's gonna be a great exercise for your kids to um, practice with a tape measure. For cutting all the material today, I use my plasma cutter with a straight edge at home. You can totally use a cut off wheel. These are all straight cuts that we've made. Riley's gonna tell you some of the pieces that we had to cut. So for the front and back, you're going to need two four and a half by 10 pieces. Then for the roof, you're going to need two five by five pieces and then for the sides and the bottom, you're going to need three, four and a half by seven pieces. Right. And then for the side bird feeder, the rails, you're going to need one piece, four and a half inches by one inch, and then another two for the sides, one inch by two and a half. And then for the perch, you can use a piece of quarter inch round rod. We have about a two inch piece cut, um, but you can also use a nail or a screw or anything you got laying around the house. So now that we have all of our pieces cut, we need to cut the angles in the front and the back piece. So we need to find center on the top portions of these two pieces. Uh, so these are four and a half inches, so two and a quarter is going to be our center mark. And then from the bottom up each side, we need to come up seven inches because that's our side panels are cut seven inches high. Okay. Now that we have our pieces marked out, we do need to run a straight edge um, from edge to edge there so that we can get our pitches for our roof. You can just take a uh, cutoff wheel and just cut a little square in there too. We got all of our pieces cut and cleaned up. Now it's time to start welding. Uh, we're going to start first with our sides and attaching them to the front and back of the birdhouse. So we've got the roof all welded, front on, sidewalls 
all tacked up. Everything's good. The only thing we have left to add is the perch. So Riley's going to find center and kind of find a, pick a spot where she wants to place this. some cleaning up and a little spray paint plus some paint markers we put some really cool designs on our little birdhouses now we're gonna go hang them on the tree um, I drilled a hole in the back side of it put a nail on the tree and hang them up you could also attach a chain if you wanted to to hang them inside the tree it's up to you um, but we hope you liked our little projects see you next time bye, bye.